Hi, and welcome back to another weekly training tips with me, Pat Quinn, co-owner and head trainer here at Champs Doghouse in Medford, New Jersey. Thank you so much to our friends over at Mount Laurel Animal Hospital for seeing the importance in dog training and the holistic approach to meeting your dog's needs. So what I want to talk about today is a question I get asked all the time. Um, it's, when is my puppy going to stop being so crazy? It sounds sort of funny, but um, if you've ever had a puppy, uh, you've sort of uh, had that conversation with your significant other or just said it to a, to a friend uh, or vented that. Um, a lot of people think that their dog will grow out of it, and to a certain extent, they're right. Uh, the one breed that I've found over the years that can sometimes be a little bit higher strung um, and have a high drive are labs. I have a couple here with me today. Um, labs and boxers are our biggest uh, doggy daycare client because of their high level of energy. These dogs have been here since 6.30 this morning and they're still going strong. Um, it makes them very, very fun to train because they have a high drive um, and, a, and a, just, a, just a want to play. Uh, but at the same time, uh, from an ownership standpoint, uh, th they can drive some people to the brink. Um, I say, when people call me and they ask me about that specific question about their lab, I say, I have to talk, I have to talk some of my, um, my training clients off the lab cliff, you know, from giving their dog up and, and things like that over the years of, of training. So anyway, what I want to talk about is how to make your dog not crazy. You know, uh, how you get your dog under control is in a couple ways. One is a great management system where you're being proactive and beating your dog's needs to the punch every day. You wake up before your dog, you wake your dog up and you put your dog to bed uh, and manage your dog's regimen uh, every step of the way. The second way is uh, calling in the cavalry. If you have a local doggy daycare in your area, uh, make sure you, you, you check them out. You ask them questions about uh, their staffing ratios and just their general policies there. And if they're not screening you to find out if your dog's ever been in a fight or how friendly your dog is, and for vaccination records in general, um, any sort of physical limitations, then they're not asking other people and that makes for a higher percentage of a dog fight or something, something bad like that happening. The main thing is, is good staffing ratios typically uh, mean it's a, it's a safe, well-run doggy daycare because they're willing to put the money out for that. Again, these guys will, will do this all day long. Their owners bring them here so they're not crazy. Um, they're crazy here, so they're not crazy at home. So use a good doggy daycare, whether it's us or a, another local canine care provider. Doggy daycares exist for a reason. Um, how often do you bring your dog to doggy daycare? I don't know, two times a week is normally enough. Anything uh, more than three is typically uh, too much. Your dog might get burned out, it's a little bit too much of a good thing. Um, but other ways to, to ensure that your dog's not crazy, besides management, um, partnering with a good doggy daycare, off-leash work. Getting your dog off-leash. Every mile you walk, your dog runs five, taps into those uh, mental st stimulation, a, very, a really primal sort of drive of just being able to seek and really let loose. Um, and the last, and I think the most important way to make your dog not crazy is to train your dog. It's not enough to just train your dog with a system that gets them really sort of fired up where it's sit, 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 cookie, yay! Now your dog's even crazier, right? I want a system for your dog that will slow your dog's thinking down. So um, in the champion dog training system, we look to slow your dog's thinking down um, and to still have a rapid response to command. So that's what you should look for if you don't live in this local area. Um, give us a call, we'd be happy to give you advice over the phone. Um, but just a couple pointers, tricks, tips to make sure that your dog um, is holistically, uh, needs are met. That's in a nutshell how you make sure you don't have a crazy dog. Anyway, thanks again for tuning in. We hope to see you again next week. 